Watch this video to the end so you have all the information you need about the upcoming crypto bull market. I'm going to give you some hardcore raindrops beat. Now, baby dolls, we are going to look at cycle one, cycle two coins, and this concept of the age of coins in crypto. It's extremely important because these are the actual stats. Cycle two coins, as a subset, all the coins out here, they only have a 20% chance to break their all-time high from their first cycle performance, okay? So cycle two coins. So if your coin was around, if your coin was made in 2019, 2020, or 2021, okay? You're a cycle one, you're a cycle two coin now, Okay. So if you were made back in 2019, 2020, 2021, okay, now that was your first cycle back then. So if you go check the Bitcoin price chart, which I'll show you right now. Yes. If your coin was made around here, you were new back then. Okay. You were new, but now you're not new. Okay. Now you are on your second cycle. Okay. So pretty much this is a USD measurement as well. So I've got to repeat that as well. Cycle two coins is only a 20% chance. One in five coins of all of them out there break their all-time high. Now, maybe there's a few quirks about that. Maybe because we're measuring diminishing gains and cycles and like, you know, there was a Joe Biden presidency. The crowd will change their perspective on this as the bull market progresses. I promise you this. People are going to say, no, this time is different. We got Trump now. We don't have, Donald, we don't have Joe Biden or something's going to change. Okay. But this has been holding true actually even the previous cycles before as well, okay? So that, that's something important to think about, especially, friends, remember the last Trump cycle in 2017, okay, the principles still meant, uh, still acted the same way. So all the coins that were old in this cycle, most of them sucked, okay? Coins like Ethereum, which were new, right? They did really well up here. However, not all of them sucked, just... If you, if you pick a random one out of them, you had to have picked like the winning ones, like Litecoin was good back then, okay? Back when it was uh, cycle number two, okay? So 20% though, friends, that it, that's very thin odds, okay? So I'm reading here, 20% is thin odds. That doesn't mean a zero chance, but it is for all coins together as a group, okay? So now that's USD pricing. Now, obviously, as you know, friends, the real price chart is the Bitcoin price chart because it's just showing you. So for example, friends, if I made, um, if I gave you double your salary, um, let's say you earn $50,000 a year. If I made it $100,000 a year, you're going to be happy. Okay, what if I told you uh, a banana costs $400,000? Are you going to be like, oh crap, I didn't actually gain any purchasing power? Yes. Well, it's the same thing with the BTC ratios. And that's also why, friends, why I actually chart the others BTC ratio here because this is all the altcoins together. Okay. Now others BTC friends, actually, this is the, this is the full chart without my pirate treasure map. It's actually been going up over time. So it's actually really good. The problem though is with this is see how it's going up over time. Altcoins outside the top 10 are gaining on Bitcoin. The coins in there are changing. They're changing a lot. They've, they've, they're basically, they're not static. So the coins that were in here, they're now different to now. So back in 2020, and an example, perfect example, right? So now we have, uh, say, Hex's purchasing power. I'll just to give you an example. Hex's purchasing power is down in this period of time. But now you have, for example, uh, Peppy that exists and Dog with Hat and Popcat and all these other coins that now appear that have a replaced the same as AI coins, okay? It doesn't mean, heck, I'm just, I'm just giving an example of these. It doesn't mean like Hex doesn't come back or anything. Of course it does, okay? But I'm just showing you some uh, few notable cases now. So... I play some nice gentle angel music. You got to understand this because um, th there's no free lunch. That's what you're basically going to be understanding by the end of these. Okay, so if you're buying like a new cycle coin, it could also get abandoned faster because people make too much money too quick, and maybe they maybe you don't have the right uh, people taking a hold of it. Maybe the the biggest holders aren't uh, benevolent, for example. Now I've got a few notable cases of this, so you got to remember the chance of an altcoin breaking its all-time high Bitcoin ratio, it's much lower than 20%. It's more like only 1% odds. 
so far. So there are many coins I can show you. I'm just going to show you the charts here. So this is, for example, Litecoin. Litecoin peaked. It hit 5% of Bitcoin's price ratio. This is LTC, BTC. Now it's down like 98%, okay? And then there are many others out here as well, friends. You can even check XRP, BTC. Man, there are so many others. Look at this. So XRP, BTC, thank God it's starting to round off and do something. But even like XRP since 2013, this year, 2013, it's still down 75% against Bitcoin, okay? So, and remember, friends, like even if you want to talk out like the, the biggest, most concerning thing, look at, look at uh, Ethereum. Ethereum peaked in June 2017 against Bitcoin, and now it's still down 77% against Bitcoin. Wow, man, it's got, yeah, man, it's, it's game. It's a tough, tough game, especially in altcoins, okay? However, I'll give you some juicy parts out. So remember I said there's like very, very low odds that you break the all-time high against Bitcoin. Well, Doge BTC is a notable case. Dogecoin did break its all-time high in its third cycle. And I can actually show it to you now. The Doge, Doge Fans is actually the winner. If you want to know what's the actual coin that won, it's Doge, okay? Doge on the log chart, you can see it. Dogecoin here, it had a high formed since 2014. And then look, it actually broke it up thanks to Elon. And now it's come back and round to the bottom and look, it actually swooped back up, okay? So it actually did a very, very strong, powerful move from here. Look at that, it actually did a 2.6x. So you can see Doge Friends is the only coin, look at that, it actually went up and now it actually is making a higher floor against Bitcoin. And why the Doge was a miracle was this was its third cycle. This was cycle one, cycle two, and this was cycle three. So <clears throat> that is extremely rare. It is like this is the exception, okay? It's not the rule. Another example, right? So XRP... It also broke against it broke its high against Bitcoin, um, but it did it in its second cycle. So it did it here. So this was XRP's first cycle, and then it's the second cycle. It broke its high against Bitcoin. The problem though is it was short lived, and then it came back down. Okay, so that was a very very nasty nasty move that happened. So obviously look at look at XRP's third cycle down here because it didn't participate in DeFi. It had nothing to do with DeFi. This was an Ethereum focused you know cycle. Um, in 2021, and then yeah, XRP had nothing to do with it. Okay, so there's other notable examples. So Link, there's Chainlink, there's Aave, because Chainlink and Aave they were released like at the end of 2017, but they just launched and then pretty much dumped after that. So they had a run in DeFi 2020, but there's just there's there's something about about that as well because for them to break their high, which is here, this is Chainlink. Okay, so for Chainlink to go and break its high and do this big run. It had literally the DeFi narrative appear. So even though it was an older coin, DeFi now emerges and DeFi becomes a cycle one narrative. It appears as a unicorn in 2020, and then everybody just came and bought everything related to DeFi. Now, as you can see, Chainlink versus X, uh, Chainlink versus BTC is beginning absolutely murders down 90% after all these years, friends. And by the way, this is in August 2020. So yeah, just been horrific for everybody out there. The Chainlink team's dumping the co coins are garbage. It's just it's very very sad outcome. Just showing you. Are they same thing? Okay, so. Now, what, what ones are doing well right now? Well, I mean, like, I, 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 the fact that I can pick these individually, that just tells you there's something really, really dangerous when it comes to these. This is how low the odds are. Soilana, friends, this is Sol BTC. Sol is still down 50% uh, from its Sol BTC ratio high in 2021. It might break it, and then it'll be like, oh, you're another one that was able to actually move up in the past. That was actually great. If you're curious as well, as well, this is Injective Protocol, friends. Injective broke its all-time high too, okay? But now, look, it's come back down. Okay, do you, see, do you see how tough this is? So hopefully Injective goes up. But yeah, this is something, this is like a, a true unicorn. As you can see, man, look at this, look at this big deviation. It kind of does look, doesn't look, it looks scary, doesn't it? Because this thing makes a huge run up. It traps so many people up here. And look at that, it just comes right back down. Man, that, that's crazy. Let's see how much injective actually dropped down. My gosh, 76%. This the volatility is wild, man, against the BTC ratio. So I hope injective can, keeps going up to give you because what we want to see is we want to see more coins doing this type of behavior where they break their high against Bitcoin. Okay. So remember, not even Ethereum could do it, friends. Not even Ethereum. So we're gonna play some play some beats. We are going to make it. I'm just highlighting this to you how, how tough the actual game is. So, I mean, we went through these. Like, the, who, it doesn't even matter. Okay, add another five coins. I mean, it's great. I want to see XRP. I want to see all these coins do it. But uh, you're looking at a pool of 2,000 plus. So, oh, wow, we can pick 10 coins. Okay, sweet. It is a, okay, let's say it ends up being 20 coins. That's still 1%. Okay, 1% of 2,000 is just 2,020. You're like, oh, crap. That's, that's tough reality. I know. Just it is. So... 
The winner so far is Doge. Why? Because Doge broke the high and made a higher floor. All the others that did it came back down. Okay, they actually reverted most of the move. Okay, that's something interesting to think about. Um, it's like Doge is a true unicorn, man. It really is a true unicorn. Okay. Um, it's also a meme coin. That's probably why, friends, meme coin super cycle. Look at Doge leading everything. It's important to pay attention to that. Now, I'm curious, right? So I was curious, and many people were curious. What about Hex? Okay, because Hex is obviously it's now in its second cycle, and you know everyone's talking about you know whether it's P Hex or or E Hex or whatever. That doesn't really matter. Okay, you can. What I've done is on this chart here, friends. This is Hex BTC. I just manually constructed Hex BTC. So you type in Hex USD. You go down to the full chart here, and then you just type in divided by BTC USD. Make sure you are selecting the full chart as there. That's that's the formula right here, and the formula will give you this. Okay. Now, this chart is just E hex. So what do you what do you what you want to do is you go to like Go Pulse for example, and you see how um, if you go to Go Go Pulse, you can see right here. See the ratio here. See how it says nine. If you squint your eyes, it's one to nine point eight seven. So all you got to do is you got to you got to see that remember that number 9.87 all you got to do is you got to go to the hex btc chart and you got to add 987% and that's where the full ratio is so there you go so we now know the full ratio is around here okay so it's around I see this line here so what I can do is I can actually just draw a horizontal line right here so there you go combined hex btc is actually up here remember, we're just looking at e hex but I've just I want to get the real ratio here so how far is hex BTC down from today? It is down 97.7% around here, or 97.5%. Okay, let's just move it up a bit. Now, wh what people will tend to do is they go, no, but you're going to earn yield along the way. Yeah, I know you're going to earn yield along the way, but do, but do you count the yield for Ethereum? Do you count the Bitcoin mining yield for Bitcoin? So it doesn't really matter, okay? So um, all, all in all, it depends, you know, it depends how you want to measure it, but I just like measuring it from the chart. I, I, I don't like chart price is getting destroyed and you have to rely on some sort of yield staking mechanism and some sort of coping. That's pers that's personally me how I measure the chart stuff. And by the way, you can't you can't put that on the chart. Okay. You have to look at the T-share chart and stuff. But yes. Um so what you want to look at, see how this line is here. You want to know, all right, how far up to the top? And the number is around here. It's around 42x to the top. So that's just to show you the log chart linear chart. It looks like that. Okay. So 42x. So this is what we're all praying for, friends. We're praying that Hex does this. Okay, look how far it got on the test net, on the Pulse Chain launch. It wicked up here, and then unfortunately just dropped down and got clobbered down. So, if Hex can do this, this is what we're all waiting for. That's what we're all like yearning for, to be honest. But remember that number forty two X. Well, that tells you if Bitcoin stops today at ninety thousand dollars, which I'll show you right now. If Bitcoin stays at ninety thousand dollars today, it doesn't even move off here. What price brings Hex back to the all-time high? And see, the answer for Hex is all-time high. I know fifty-five cents is the USD price, but that's not the real the real high price. The real high is now eighty-eight cents. Okay, because I just did a forty-two X on whatever Hex's price is today. You see that? So, and and that you could just do, do that on the combined price, or, or you just do it on P hex, E hex, whatever. So, eighty eight cents is that price, friends. I've actually written it down here as well, so you get to see it. Hex needs to get to eighty eight cents, and that's break even on the hex BTC ratio. Now, remember, I said that's if Bitcoin stops today. What if Bitcoin goes to one hundred and eighty thousand? Well, because that's another two x from today, so you got a two x at eighty eight cents. It gets you a dollar seventy five. So once again, here's I've written it here. Basically, P hex must be a dollar seventy five when Bitcoin is one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. But when I say must be, what does that what does that really mean? It just means that it's now a downtrending coin. It's bleeding forever. That's what it means. Okay, uh, because like I remember, I gave you the odds. So it's not my, why I'm just using hex as an example. It's just it's cool. It's cheap. Uh, there's many coins out there. You've got a meme cult religion archetype here for it. So you can apply this to everything else, but you wouldn't be in this if you didn't think it could happen. You see, you think there's higher odds in this happening than maybe Litecoin. Obviously, I hope Litecoin does it as well. You think there's higher odds in this, in, in Hex, than, say, EOS or then Stellar or anything else, right? But um, all these coins from the past or coins that you know, might be abandoned or their community is not as strong, 
they don't have the key information asymmetry where they have like you know a strong cult like community or they don't have you know a billionaire founder as well that helps as well and 170,000 ethereum stashed away in a wallet okay so this this is what i'm showing you right now <clears throat> that's the hex btc ratio but yeah if let's say let's say the price let's say hex for example if hex let's say bitcoin gets to 250k okay so let, let's say it did a 3x from here actually let's see let's say it got to 270k 3x from here if hex only got to a dollar 88 okay at that point which is what i'll show you now the chart would look like this okay the chart would only go to around here bang and it would stop there okay and then as you all know everything drops 90 percent plus in a bear market so we'll come back down and drop here so that's what the chart will look like so we'll come back down here and then plop okay so that's what the chart will look like so um where do you go from here well we don't have too many examples where there's like you know coins and communities that have stayed around for a long time to make it that's why i'm hoping xrp btc ratio actually does break up that high remember friends tron was able to do it tron but that's tron usd tron bitcoin ratio was not able to do it but you get the point so if that's the chart you're looking at okay remember in my post here i showed you like for example litecoin i'm going to show you litecoin look at litecoin downtrending over time okay so you see litecoin going down over time that's what the chart will look like over time because these things eventually bleed out like i said if you didn't think it would ha if you didn't think that you know you can break the high why would you even be in the game in the first place okay so that's what happens when you're an older coin because you have a chart and you get a cycle one effect when you're in, when you're new, okay? But it's not, like I said, there's no free lunch, all right? So cycle one coins, they are always higher performers. They are, but there's survivorship bias there because when I and you talk about cycle one coins, new coins, we're talking about the ones we remember that are winners, okay? And obviously, I've got to tell you, friends, yes, cycle two and cycle three coins can do well. I'm just talking about the whole subset. Remember, so if you took a hundred of them, okay, yeah, there's five that do well. You know, I mean, like, look at the perfect example, friends. Only five coins out of five hundred were able to do well in 2024 from last cycle. Five cycle two coins, five, and I know them. We, we've gone through them: Soilana, Fetch, Floki, Injective, BNB. Okay, those five, I know them all five. They were able to come back and recover their all-time high in a Bitcoin halving gear. You know what I mean? So we were able to go through them and they, they all went up like, pretty much uh, last year and they were older stuff. So, but what, what went up in 2024, it was um, new cycle one coins, memes, Peppy was born, Ticker Bitcoin, Mog, Popcat, all these other things, you know. Also, PDI friends, funny, PDI. PDI is a cycle one coin. That's another thing. Or, or maybe it's not. Maybe PDI is a cycle two coin. It doesn't matter. But like as a whole subset, like you, you, look, you needed some sort of miracle spice narrative to basically beat the odds, all right? So, like I, like I said, um, people say, "Well, why don't we just go and buy all the new coins?" Yeah, well, which ones? Which ones? Let me give let me give you an example of last year, friends. Gamblefi coins were cycle number one, but they died out in 2023. Meme coins are overpowering them. Maybe they come back. You need more research and info. So, remember, Gamblefi coins, Socialfi coins. Remember, Frentech. So, they were new. They just didn't have the legs, man. They 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 went up. They got a narrative, and they just they couldn't last. You see, imagine you're still holding them. Imagine, uh, and what about Telegram trading bot coins? You know, not all of them did well. Remember, there was that Uni one, I forgot what it was called. The Uni, the Uni bot, the Telegram Uni bot, forgot, forgot what it was called. But you see what I mean? That's, it's tough. It's tough. Um, so if you're in a cycle one coin, there's no history. It means more risky. So in terms of, um, there's a community that's there. It can be less risky because there's less pressure to, of like bad memories. However, you have risk that you enrich the biggest holders too fast and they quit. They have an exit point. Okay. That's a risk. And then they walk away and they can't resurrect it because they go get, because they'll be lured in by the other new cycle coins and they just move on. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Okay. The friends, you know what happened with uh, Friend Tech? So the founder, Razor, or whatever his name is, I've got Razor. I think he made like $20 million or $15 million. He made his big cash out pay, he just walks away. So obviously we're still using Frentech, still love it. Problem is like, I don't know, are there updates? They're slow with the competency, but you see what I mean? It's hard to keep people motivated. We just give them $15 million in about a nine month period. All right. Now, what about cycle two coins? Cycle two coins, yes, they do diminish. As seen all the odds, they do diminish. Okay, because there's too many bag holders, but you have an advantage here. 
The advantage is, you read this, they have an established community, so you can easily choose to concentrate larger capital into them with less risk of abandonment. Look at the HEX example, for example, okay? So HEX, XRP, all these other communities. So if you have information where you can like, you just, you can see that the community is still there, they're powering on memes, cults, religions, diehard believers, okay? If they're still there, then it's great. You can concentrate higher risk on it. Now, because you, remember friends, there's no free lunch. So because it's like, it's not, hey, I don't need it to be a lottery ticket. I can put like 30 lottery tickets in it. Because it lets you get the confidence you can have more lottery tickets in, you do pay a price, okay? And the price is you don't get that cycle one effect on average, okay? So basically pick your poison when it comes to that. It's not really picking your poison. It's just, it's a, it's part of the game, okay? You're, you're traveling along the risk curve. You're like, okay, you want a hot new cycle one coin? Yeah, your upside is bigger, but also you have... Uh, more volatility of the price swings on the downside. That's something to think about. And, okay, if you want to allocate bullets to cycle two stuff, that's good. Okay, you can uh, you have the luxury of uh, you can you can use a lot of uh, basically just data points around. You go, oh, these people aren't going anywhere. They're going to keep cheering. Okay, good. That does really really well. However, you know your odds of you know breaking highs relentlessly and doing big things they they diminish as well. Like just think that friends, why I'm showing you all this is like for hex. Okay, you know. Whatever chart price it does, by the way, only Doge was able to make a floor off the chart pretty much, okay? See, even if Hex, what if it just goes up here? What if it breaks the high and then just drops 90% again? It doesn't really matter really what these things do. I'm just showing you the reality of these situations. And like, I've even shown you like Ethereum, like like this is the most, the most devastating news of all. Ethereum is round trip eight years, man. A freaking year since March 2016, the ratio just got absolutely clobbered hard. So it's tough, isn't it? As you can see, the real prices are the BTC ratio prices in crypto because you're taking on infinitely more risk with a smaller network effect of people who can abandon. So you need to be compensated for it on the upside. Remember, I always to use this example for you. I'm like, well, imagine you had uh, you had $2 million. You give a million dollars to one guy. He goes and invests it in government bonds. He returns 4% for the year. And then you give a million dollars to a crack addict. He goes to the gambling casino and he, he gambles on like blackjack all day. And then he also returns you 4% at the end of the year. You say, oh, well, you know, they're both maybe 4%. They're both equal. No, they're not equal, right? Or you took infinitely more risk with the crackhead who went to the casino with the money. So it's the same thing when it comes to these. But like I said, friends, if you just stick around, let's see what happens. Like maybe XRP leads the way. And maybe XRP leads away. So a lot of people do ask me, uh, what do you want to see that kind of like shows you the resurrections are possible and stuff, man? I, I, wa I want to see XRP, friends. I, I want to see them like, I want to see the XRP price. I want to see it do this. But that's a 17X, man. And that's big, friends, because XRP is 15 billion market cap. So if XRP does 17 on like say 60 billion market cap. That's a trillion market cap for XRP. Can XRP do it? I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I hope it does because, you know, it's just people joining a network, but that's, it is something to think about. So, by the way, if, if it, technically it's possible, friends, if, if you want to six, if you want to, uh, if you want to 17X, right, a, a price, right, you just take the square root of it. Okay, that's how much that's how much user base you need to grow. Okay, so the, I'll just show you now. So if you go if you go to the calculator here, you just go to here, you go seventeen. Type in the square root of it. There you go. The number's four point one two. So pretty much almost a four x. So whatever the holder count is of XRP, let's say there is I don't know. Let's say there's three million holders. To get a, a trillion valuation, it needs to grow its user base by four x. Okay, so it's, it needs to go from th three million holders to like twelve million. There's plenty of people in the world to do it. It can do it, okay? That because but here's the thing as well for Bitcoin, Bitcoin XRP. I don't know the exactly how many people are holding XRP. Remember, there's a lot of there's a lot of Ripple themselves who hold it. So all of these is possible, friends, because of the valuations in crypto, it's literally that market cap thing. Uh, you can't use these things as ceilings because it's just it's people joining networks, and you know how Metcalf's law works, right? Uh, it's just people whether they decide to hold or not. So there you go. In a nutshell, you get to see everything that I'm looking at here and. Ultimately, why I've shown you this is, friends, it, I just don't want anybody in the community, by the way, we can just have to sell. I can't get them to stop selling. Nobody can. And I, I love being excited for prices, but 
Now that now I've given you the cheat code, now that you understand ratio. So based off today's price, P hex should be 88 cents. If it wants to go back to its all-time high. 88. Not eight. Not even 28. 88 cents. Okay. That's how low it is. That's how like undervalued, underperforming. That's how like, you know, deeply destroyed it is compared to that all-time high price. Okay. Um, so why would anyone be concerned if it's at five cents or 10 or even 20? That's what I'm, that's why I'm here helping you understand. Now you can see these ratios and you're like, wait a minute, I shouldn't even be sweating until like, I'll just give you the real numbers, friends. If you look at hex, for example, if you look at hex and these ratios and, 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 and the BTC ratios and stuff, you bring it out here. Normally, people can just draw like a fib to the top, from the top to the bottom. You get a 60% retrace up here. So if you want to know, hey, where would retracements basically indicate we should kind of be worried? It's a 33x from today. But basically, does that mean be worried if hex goes up 33x and Bitcoin doesn't move? Yeah, that would be, friends, a price of about 75 cents today. And now you get to see using these ratios, 75 cents, man. So that's why if hex goes to five cents, I'm not worried. 10, I'm not worried. I'm in terms of worried, like, oh, are we too expensive at that point? Like, look how far below it is. And that's why it has a long way to go. That's why there are people selling down here because they don't understand the power of what they hold. They really don't. But you're only able to see this from Bitcoin and the ratios out here. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you in the next one.